Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. So today's episode, actually it's not an episode, today's video is about the flash drive. Now this little flash drive, especially this one right here, which is a Data Traveler G34 gigs, which I think I paid like 10 bucks for it, uh, has saved my life several times. And what do I mean? Let me plug this little guy in. Now, I had a couple of people come to me like, hey Bernardo, you know, how how can you be a successful technician, uh, an IT guy, and uh, you know fix things quickly? Now I said to myself, I have this little flash drive which I just placed into the computer. And as you can see in the screen, I have 25 portable utilities that I use all the time, and these utilities will keep me um, on my game, uh, get what I need to get fixed and get out of there with no problem. Now, portable applications are awesome. The reason why portable applications are awesome is because you don't need to download them, install them, or get administrative rights. You already have them in a flash drive, double click on the exe file, and that's it. Now, there's this cool site, portableapps.com, that gives you an entire list of what they're already uh, made into a portable app. You know, you can download the exe file from their site, which I'm going to show you right now, the site. Uh, and the site is portableapps.com. Okay. And again, uh, let's go into Get Apps. And as you can see, this is a huge list. Now, this video, I'm going to show you my top 25 utilities that I use every day on my flash drive, which basically saves my butt for family members that always want to uh, give me their laptops to troubleshoot or machines to troubleshoot for clients, uh, friends, whomever. Okay, so let's get started. Now, this is not really in any specific order, so these links I'm actually going to post it right in the bottom of this video so you guys can check it out and give me some feedback. Or you could probably just go into the main site and download uh, other ones that you don't see on my top 25. But if you do download, hey, let me know. Shoot me an email or shoot me a comment right below this video and let me know what you think about the whole portable app thing going on. So first one in my list is a database browser. Now, I have have dealt with a lot of clients that have uh, MySQL, uh, SQLite, uh, SQL, uh, and they, they give me a laptop or and they were like, oh, I need you to run a query or, uh, or reports or something. Rather than me downloading uh, SQL Studio Manager tools, uh, which takes forever. If you, if you want to get the express version, it takes forever to download, and then you have to install it, blah. Uh, Database Browser Portable is an awesome tool. It, it allows you to connect into uh, the most famous SQL engines and you are able to run your queries with no problem within this database browser so I give it thumbs up on this one uh, the next one in my list is notepad plus 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 now notepad is the uh, I don't know it's a text editor which is awesome I, that's the only way that I can actually explain what's notepad plus plus you know um, notepad plus plus the way I use it is you know writing up my PowerShell scripts my batch scripts uh, basic, the best thing about it is it highlights certain commands so if, if, if you're doing like a PowerShell command like git content it actually uh, highlights git content into blue uh, which is pretty awesome it saves uh, multiple files like PS PowerShell uh, CSV comments separate something um, uh, text files basic text files you can also do like C and C++ on this bad boy, JavaScript, VBScript, Kickscript. It's a lot of things that you can do on Notepad++, which is awesome. Uh, next one in my list is uh, XAMP. Now, XAMP is for like web administrators. Uh, you can actually have uh, Apache, MySQL, PHP, Plus, Peer, uh, OpenSSL. Uh, FileZilla FTP server, which is pretty awesome. SQLite, Tomcat, you can have all this stuff contained into one portable device and you can just use it. It's cool. Uh, next one in my list is GIMP. GIMP is awesome. It's for those people that can't afford Photoshop. 
uh, like myself, uh, I can't afford Photoshop. Photoshop is about $200, $300 out of my pocket. But I've seen people use GIMP to do the most outstanding backgrounds, logos, and it's free. Uh, it's one of those things that you, if you need to edit a picture, save it as a PNG, 28-bit or 16-bit, I believe, or a JPEG or a bitmap or a GIF. You do it on this, on the fly, good to go. Uh, next one on my list is Skype. Self, very self-explanatory. Skype, you know, it's portable, awesome. You don't really need to install anything on it. Uh, you don't need to install anything on the machine. Just use it portable. Done. Next one on my list, uTorrent. You know, come on, guys, uTorrent. You know what uTorrent is. Self-explanatory. I don't really need to tell you what uTorrent is. Uh, it's awesome that they actually created uTorrent portable. Uh, I don't need to install it on a machine. Uh, but the only thing I'm kind of concerned about it is that you do need to mess around with the firewall to actually have uTorrent work properly. Sometimes if you're using this into a company, um, you, you know, computer, uh, most likely the company computer will eliminate the uTorrent depending on their firewall situation as well as their antivirus software. Um, next one on my list is FileZilla. I love FileZilla. I was introduced to FileZilla about a couple of years ago on the Mac platform uh, is a great uh, file transfer protocol program FTP uh, I know the Mac users normally use as transmit or fetch uh, but Fossil works great as well as it works great on the PC side uh, another portable utility is Google Chrome right awesome to have Google Chrome and it's also awesome to have Firefox why have these two guys portable? Hey, you never know you're in a client or you're in a friend's house and they are only using Internet Explorer. They do not want you to install Chrome or Firefox because, hey, in your eyes, you know they work better than Internet Explorer and they do. So why not have it portable, pop in the flash drive and run it as is? Pretty cool. Uh, next one in my list is Putty. Now, Putty, I was introduced to Putty when I started messing around with Cisco switches and routers. Uh, you could tell in it or do a SSH client uh, console thing. If you're dealing with like vSphere, you could do a SSH. Uh, telling it mostly is done with routers. Uh, so that's cool on the fly. Uh, next one on my list, Audacity. Come on, Audacity is pretty well known for all our YouTuber guys. You know, I'm talking to you guys, YouTubers. Uh, you know, do an auditing. You know, auditing. Doing audio uh, recording and editing. Uh, I know I, I've seen a lot of people do commentary and um, gameplay on Audacity, which is pretty cool. It's awesome to have that on the fly because you know what? You never know when you need to record on the fly, and you don't have your work. You know, you don't have your machine that you use every day to record, and you have your flash drive. You just pop it in and use Audacity. Uh, next one in my list is VLC Media Player. VLC, I love VLC Media Player. I actually installed it as a, uh, a mandatory application to all my machines and offices because it plays basically everything. It's a great utility. Uh, I like to have it portable because sometimes when I'm in the family member's house, they don't want me to install anything. So I, again, I just pop in my flash drive and use you know, VLC to view a, a video or something. Uh, the next one in my list, Virtual Hub, Virtual Dub actually. Virtual Dove, I uh, was introduced to this about three years ago, and the whole thing about Virtual uh, Dove is it, it, it's a video processor that allows you to capture your video into images, which is great. Uh, the way that I use this is I normally record how-to videos on technology stuff, and I have a blog site, so I, I post up my video, but at the very bottom of my video, I'm explaining everything step by step with pictures, which is pretty cool. Rather than uh, record, you know, playing your video and then stopping it and taking a screenshot. Uh, Virtual Dub does that, but the problem is the only thing I don't like about it, which I think there's probably a preference for it, that uh, it does frame by frame, say frame by frame, and then you got to go in the folder of like a thousand, two thousand images and filter it out. Uh, it's probably a preference for that. I just haven't had the time to actually look into it. Uh, the next one in my list is Fo Fox. Foxit Reader, it's a PDF reader. Um, I'm kind of surprised that PortableApps.com didn't really create an Adobe Reader yet. But the best thing about this, I've used it a couple of times, it allows you to mark up uh, PDFs and save it as well, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, next one on my list is Open Office. Open Office is a cheap version of Microsoft Office Suite with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, and all the other goodies. Uh, the best thing about this, if you do work on this and you collaborate with another person that does not have op Open Office and they do have Office, like Microsoft Office, they are still able to open up that file that you gave them and as well vice versa. Uh, next one in my list. Uh, eraser, eraser. I'm not too long ago installed this into my uh, flash drive uh, because it, it 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 securely deletes and removes data from a certain area. I like this stuff. Um, as you can read in the description right here, um, I've used it a couple times to wipe clean hard drives or you know USB drives. Uh, next one in my list, KeePass. Now KeePass, I was introduced to this about 10 years ago, which was a long time ago. And this little guy right here is awesome uh, because what it does, it uh, you can actually build a database of passwords, and uh, you put a password encryption into it. And the only way that you could break it is if you know someone knows your password encryption, which is I think it's 256 encryption. Um, I've kind of pushed this slowly to some of my clients, and the reason why is because a lot of clients normally have like Excel files with password on the Excel file and actually show them that you can crack the password in less than an hour and it was like oh my gosh blah, blah, blah. so I, I, I introduced them to KeePass they keep everything on a little file and you know it's awesome it's a great utility to have especially if you have so many passwords uh, SpyBot is another great utility again SpyBot has its own engine that it runs off uh, it has a database that has uh, a certain amount of viruses that are current it, it scans the database and it scans your machine to, to see if your machine has um, one of those viruses that it has on the database if it does it finds it it destroys it you know self-explanatory again it's, it's, it's self-contained you don't need really need to install anything just double click on it and, it, and you know it does its thing um, close this up right here free up some stuff and the next one on my list is a uh, 2x client. Now, 2x client is an RDP, which is a remote desktop portable uh, client. Uh, the reason why I use this is because I normally have a list of servers of clients that I, I have to remote into and update and do all that good stuff. As well as machines at my house that I like to remote into. So, uh, with this little guy, if I click on the image right here and you guys can see, you have like a nice little list of all your machines, you right click connect and you're gonna work remotely. Uh, you might say to yourself why would you really need that if you do have remote desktop built in Windows but uh, remote desktop and Windows you have to save the file for each IP address on this you could just save it on the side and you got a nice little list going on. Uh, next one is, oh, you guys are love this one, Camp Studios. Now I've use camp studios a couple of times on the fly at the job when I needed to record something real quick for you guys and I didn't have my I didn't have my work you know my video machine or whatever you want to call it that I do all my video recordings and I, I didn't have a camera you know I had I had my phone right here but you know I couldn't do a screencast uh, so camp studio again it's portable you can just double click on the file click on the record, start recording, save it, and that's it. Now the problem is I think it saves it as an ABI file. Uh, I don't know if YouTube uh, take ABI files. I normally do like MP4 files, so you probably need to convert the ABI file. So if you guys do know if YouTube does take ABI, hey, hey shoot me a comment below and let me know if they, if they do, that'd be cool. And uh, next one is desynchronize. I have this in my utility. Uh, Desynchronize is a standalone utility that allows you to periodically synchronize uh, information from one location to the other. It's pretty cool. The only reason that I have this is because when I'm copying information to one lo to another location, I like to have a nice little GUI and a progress bar to let me know, you know, how far am I am to finishing it. Uh, next one in my list is. <laughs> The shutdown portable, which is is hilarious. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a remote PC shutdown and a wake up. Uh, the wake up portion only will work if your machine's BIOS settings is enabled for wake up. You know, wake up land. Uh, the shutdown 
portion is pretty cool. The way that I've used it in the past is I, I have a couple people come into my office and basically give me the rundown that they're letting go, they're letting somebody go at the end of the day, and they want the machine to shut down because they don't want to continue working after five o'clock. So rather than me going to the machine and unplugging it or shutting it down in front of their face or waiting until they leave the office, I just do a remote shutdown and just leave it be. But most likely they're gonna give you a call and say, hey, you know why is my, my machine on uh, shut down? So whatever. So it, it's a cool utility also to pull pranks on your friends. And uh, three more, three more though. Uh, you got fast copy. Fast copy is just like the desynchronized. Uh, like fast copy because it, uh, it it gives you more of another interface. Uh, you know you could do diff and size on this, which is pretty cool. Um, number twenty-four is Team Viewer. Again, Team Viewer is very self-explanatory. Team Viewer is a client that you install on your machines. Uh, they <coughs> they not too long ago upgraded their web GUI so uh, you can actually log in into the web GUI and remote into your machine a good example for this is like I call uh, I call someone from my house and I say hey can you please turn my Mac computer on I needed to do some configuration on my server and they turned on my machine I, from TeamViewer I logged into my TeamViewer and I was able to remote into my server within TeamViewer do what I needed to do shut it down and that's it pretty cool uh, it's awesome that they have it portable, so I don't have to install them or anything. Uh, and the last one is tree size pole, which is 25. Again, this list is not really in any specific order. It's just 25 utilities that I love to use, and I'm sharing out to you guys. I would love to hear from you guys to see what are your, your tools that you use every day. Uh, again, num the last one, number 25, is t tree size free portable, which I love this utility because I normally run reports every day on a network share. Uh, and make sure that no one's hiding mp3 files or uh, DVD videos and if they are you know I run a report and I see who 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 actually dropped the file in there and I give them a call and say hey can you start cleaning this stuff up it's an awesome utility it also gives you a nice little uh, graph kind of like thing it's 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 pretty cool and it's also it's free uh, the, I think the portable version is free uh, there is a version that you have to pay, which I do have, but uh, portable is always good and it's free. Pop it in, do what you need to do, and that's it. Other than that, guys, that is my 25, my top 25 utilities, portable utilities that I use every day to save my butt at work with family and friends. Um, these links right here, I will post them up at the bottom of the video as well as the primary uh, link. Of portableapps.com so you guys can check that stuff out and uh, start downloading and let me know what you guys think about the utilities that they are providing you uh, because again it's free and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video give me thumbs up and I catch you guys later peace out